we were cutting up spam this one time and he was going <laughs> he just took the knife and he was like and he was making those noises and I'm just sitting here and like oh my god of all the people who should have knives I don't think we should have had any knives <laughs> So when you think of a mental hospital, the first thing that comes to mind isn't exactly cooking. But in my third stay in a mental hospital, it was a less intensive care program where I came in for five days a week uh, for a couple months uh, from nine to three. And we would basically do normal group therapy, normal um, stuff like that. We would also have time set aside for us to do academics. And we also had time set aside to do some fun things like cooking. Now, when you read the title, a bunch of mental kids playing around with knives doesn't exactly sound safe, but it, it could have been a lot safer, but it was pretty safe for what it was. You see, on Wednesdays, we would have the opportunity to cook, and cooking is the most fun thing that we have done in treatment, because it's cooking. I love cooking. I, I love to do that kind of stuff, and, you know, I talked about this in other videos, but the mashed potato situation oh my god the mashed potato situation so it was thanksgiving time it was around thanksgiving i was just released from my second stay in a mental hospital and i was admitted to this third stay in a mental hospital and this third stay was around thanksgiving so i think it was um maybe a couple days before thanksgiving we had a yeah it was the wednesday before thanksgiving and we had this grand um feast uh well it wasn't really a feast but we had a lot of food so we made the other patients uh, made um biscuits and, and turkey and stuff like that the turkey smelled like shit i don't know why it smelled so bad but once it was cooked it was fine they made stuffing and they made um lao lao if you don't know what that is come to hawaii <laughs> but they would make food but me and another patient were stuck with making mashed potatoes and we didn't have a potato ricer or at least the thing that they used to smash potatoes so what we used was boxed potatoes and we didn't have any milk or butter or salt or pepper or cream or literally anything that needs to be put in mashed potatoes to make them taste good the only thing we had was water and the mashed potato mix and it came out kind of gross <laughs> it, 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 it was it was something it was clumpy it definitely needed more water and i don't know i i think we i think it was overcooked as well because we were split up into two groups the first group i think there was 15 of us so seven and eight so the first seven of us went upstairs because it was on a different level we went upstairs and went into the kitchen we made mashed potatoes and chicken and not chicken and turkey and stuffing and stuff like that and then we went down and then the second group went up and it got and the mashed potatoes got burnt and overcooked which was not fun but you know i don't think there could have been I don't, I don't think there's much in the way of it getting any worse to be honest but what i do want to talk about a lot is the knife situation so the knife situation was a bit scary because uh, they had these knives in a cabinet in a safe was it in a safe no it was in a locked cabinet that's not a safe but it was in a locked cabinet in a locked box and there were a couple not a couple there were a bunch of knives and these knives were like serious chef knives like like um not the kind you would see in your average person's stuff in your average person's kitchen and we use those knives to like do things like dice onions or chop bread or do this that this that this that and oh man it was it was scary because i remember this one patient she was cutting onions and i walked up to her and i was like you might cut your fingers off if you keep hold if you hold it like this and you cut like that and then she was like oh that's okay i was, I was thinking uh you really don't want onion in your open wound that's gonna sting like hell and she was like i like that and i was like oh jesus christ oh god just thinking about onion getting in your open cuts i mean i've had my fair share of self-harm but i do not want to put onion in my open wounds at least anymore um i remember i used to cut onions on purpose just to make my eyes hurt but that, that's a completely different topic um there was this other patient I'm not going to use his real name. Um, let's go with James. 
yeah this other patient james he was a very uh let's just say immature person um this was back before i was an adult so i was still in the children's ward and i think this dude he was like 12 13 and then he had a knife we were cutting up spam this one time and he was going He just took the knife and he was like bah, bah, bah. and he was making those noises and I'm just sitting here like oh my god of all the people who should have knives I don't think we should have had any knives <laughs> but yeah it was it was strange it was definitely strange why they allowed a bunch of mentally ill people have knives especially when a fair portion of us suffered with self-harm but the funny thing is um, I was cutting onions this one time, not because I wanted to make myself cry, but because I was assigned to cook onions. My friend, another patient, she came up to me, she was like, dude, you look like you're high. And I was like, I can't stand this, it burns. And yeah, it wasn't fun. Imagine uh, taking a normal knife, like a kitchen knife, and well, to be more specific, like a dicing knife and using that to cut bread. Imagine how horrible that is because it's gonna start squishing, it's gonna start pushing against each other and it's just not fun, but it's something that <laughs> uh, we did. We didn't have any bread knives. And I think that, I think bread knives would have been a lot more dangerous, a lot more dangerous if we, if, if we mental patients had them. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, Knives in the Mental Hospital. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I have a new earring coming in, or I have a bunch of new earrings coming in. So you're gonna see this guy being diced up some more and maybe a little bit more on this ear because I don't have anything on this ear right now. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, stay safe out there. Take care of your mental health. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't go to a mental hospital unless you really need to. <laughs> Ahuyo, alamo pono.